Hi everyone, it's Erin and today I'm doing a products I've used up slash empties video. When I first started doing these videos, I, which was, was pretty recent, I realized that I had actually a lot of empties. So anyway, I sort of started gathering them all up and that sort of thing to do an empties video. The first time I saw an empties video, I was like, what in the world? Like, why would anybody want to watch that? But then I've gotten totally hooked on watching empties videos. Why do we enjoy watching them? I have no idea. But anyway, hopefully they're fun to film. Okay, so I have this Urban Outfitters bag. Oh, empties. Dun, dun, dun. Anyway, so I'm going to dive into the bag and see what is in here. Um, starting out, I guess, with a beauty product. This is a Caress Enchanting Secret Body Wash, and this is in, it's one of the limited edition ones. It is Mulberry Blossom in Midnight Woods. I really, really like these. Um, you can see there's like a teeny weeny bit. The smell of these is really nice. Um, I love Caress Body Washes. I definitely would repurchase one of these. I um, really, man, I'd really use that up. Gosh. Anyway, but this smelled really nice. It kind of has a vanilla, slightly woodsy scent. Um, and I definitely would repurchase that. So cool stuff. The next is boring. It is a generic multi-purpose eye contact solution. And I always buy the cheap ones. And then I'm like, why did I buy the cheap one? Because they just don't moisturize my contacts as well. And I'm always putting drops in. So I don't know when I was done with this, I was like, I'm going to break down. I'm going to buy the expensive eye contact solution. Anyway, so I did not repurchasing that. The $4 for a big bottle of that is just so tempting, you know? Anyway, what else do I have in here? Oh, I have this. Um, this actually is not completely empty. It's got like a teeny weeny, maybe one more use in the bottom. Uh, this is a small Aruba coconut body lotion from Bath and Body Works. And I really, really love the scent of this. It is old though. I'm not even sure when I got it because it's been a long time since I've been in Bath and Body Works, to be perfectly honest. Um, but I noticed the other day when I was putting it on, and this is going to sound so weird, it was starting to smell a little strange. And if you can see the color, it's maybe starting to look a little gray. Um, so I was like, hmm, it might be time to toss that. But I might check and see if Bath & Body Works still has this scent because I love this. It is like all coconutty, beachy yumminess, and it's just really nice. So I would definitely buy some more of that. Um, staying with Bath Products. Oh gosh, this is one of my favorite things. It is... Um, one of uh, Victoria's Secret Smoothing Body Scrubs. And this is in Pure Daydream. This is the second one I've used up. I um, I love these. These What I love about this particular scrub is that as you're scrubbing it on your body, it, turn, it starts to lather. And it doesn't leave the scrub granules in the bottom of your bathtub, which I absolutely love. And, you know, the scents are really nice. I've really been impressed with the new scents that Victoria's Secret has come out with lately. So I'm definitely going out and repurchasing. Yeah, I'm going to get a whiff. I think you're supposed to smell everything as you're emptying them. Anyway, that had a little water in it. Okay, so I'm going to try to stay on uh, cleansing product as well. This is a Kroger oil-free eye makeup remover comparable to the Neutrogena oil-free makeup remover. I did really, really like this. Um, I just don't use it anymore because I do the oil cleansing method now and um, the almond oil works really great at removing eye makeup. So I don't really have a need to repurchase this. But if you have Kroger's near you, the Kroger brand eye makeup remover is really, really good. So definitely recommend that. All right. And there's a lot of stuff in here. Um, toothpaste. A lot of people do toothpaste on these things. I always think that's funny. But I have toothpaste today. This is by Jason. I don't think that's how you pronounce it um, because it has some funny little accent marks over it, but I'm just saying Jason because I don't want to try to pronounce that properly. Anyways, this is the Healthy Mouth Toothpaste. I've used it the whole tube and I still don't know if I'm going to repurchase this because I don't know. I'm still on the fence. I was really trying to use a less chemically toothpaste, but I just feel like I still like my, was it, is it Crest that does the 3D white or is it Colgate? I can't remember. I think it's Crest. But anyway, but it plus is expensive. This little tube is like $8. So I don't know. I think I might just, I really like the tea tree oil in it. 
even though it makes it taste kind of funny. So I think I just might get some tea tree oil and rub that on my teeth every once in a while. It's supposed to help with like gum issues and stuff like that. We'll see. It's some expensive toothpicks though. All right. Um, a face product. This is by Simple. It is the Vital Vitamin Day Cream. And I think I went through three jars of this before I started doing the oil cleansing method. And I don't really have a need for moisturizer anymore. But I definitely recommend the Simple uh, Day Creams and Night Creams. I had the Night Cream as well. I really liked that. Um, they are so good for your skin. They don't have any yucky stuff in them. Not a lot of chemicals or weird things. And um, this does have a major sunscreen scent, though. I will say that. Um, so it does have a teeny bit in the bottom because I started doing oil cleansing. But I imagine this is not good anymore. Anyway, but this does have SPF 15 in it. So um, if you're looking for a good product with um, moisturizer with sunscreen in it, I do recommend it. It does not. It goes on a little heavy, but it absorbs really nicely. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is going to be a really long video. Okay, um, moving into, no, we're not doing makeup yet because I still have body products. Okay, this was a sample from Sephora. It was the Philosophy Amazing Grace Firming Body Lotion, and I had two little thingies. And while I absolutely love the lotion as a lotion, it, oh my gosh, it makes your skin so smooth. Um, the smell, I'm not a fan of the Amazing Grace smell. It has a, it's kind of like a baby powder kind of scent. And that's not like my favorite thing ever. So I don't think I'd be actually repurchasing that scent. But if they had the firming body lotion in a different scent, I think I would get it. And I'm pretty sure they have it in some of their other ones. But, oh, and I also don't know if it actually firms your skin. But who cares? Anyway. Oh, and <clears throat> just a side note. I keep the little containers that you get at Sephora and stuff because, um... They're nice to take with you when you go to Sephora again and maybe want to get a little sample of something else. So I just clean them out really good and um, I have a couple that I carry with me if I go to the makeup store or something just to get a sample. Anyways, all right. Are we able to move into makeup yet? Okay. Oh, no, I got one more. One more face product. Here we go. This is the, there is a hair. That's gross. The Boots Botanics intensive wrinkle reduction serum and this is what I was using again before I started doing doing oil cleansing and I really really liked this I actually got this on clearance at Target for like four bucks and so I don't know if they're gonna be carrying it anymore but um this stuff is really really great I loved it um and I used it all up man there's like nothing left in there definitely awesome it is a serum but it is not like runny and oily like a serum so it absorbs into your face really nice, and it always left my skin feeling so wonderful in the morning. So I definitely recommend that. I'm sorry, I have got to fix this one stray bang. Like, my bangs. Oh, they're doing awful things. Anyway, loved that stuff. Okay. Makeup, finally. Okay. So starting out with one of these, I'm pretty sure that every single empties video I do will have one of these. It's the Revlon Photo Ready. Eye primer and brightener and I use it in the color 003 and oh my gosh love these I think I've gone through like four of these I actually need to buy another one because I actually have not yet I don't know why oh I know why because every single time I go to buy one they're gone so anyways I got to get on that anyway I really feel like when I use this underneath my eyes like today I feel like I can still see some of the dark circles under my eyes but when I use this in combination with my concealer you can't see it at all so Anyway, love that. Need to get a run on with this video. It's getting long. Anyway, something I didn't like and did not completely use up. This is the Revlon Photo Ready Powder, I guess, in Fair Light. I didn't use it all the way up, but I was just sick of trying to use it and make it work. It's just not a great powder. I didn't like it at all. I it did it was a it wasn't a very finely milled powder powder if that makes any sense. Oh gosh, I really did not like it. I just find it amazing that this works, that this $4 powder works so much better than this one, which is definitely a little more than $4. It just blows me away every time. Anyway. All right, moving on. Let's start with some, I have one random hair product that I actually did not like. This is by Kenra and it is, you can't even see because it's so shiny. It's the Silkening Gloss. And of course I was attracted by shiny packaging 
I'm like a monkey. Shiny, shiny, buy me. And it smells really good, but it does not work that great. I was really, really disappointed with this. Um, yeah, I mean, and I used it the whole thing. I was just like trying, praying, hoping it would just make my hair so glossy and beautiful. Yeah, I'm doing beach waves today, so we're looking a little rough. But um, yeah, so hmm, yeah, no. When I buy that again, no way, Jose. Okay, more stuff. Um, I have an empty package of the L'Oreal Color Riche Nail Lingerie, and I had the Elite Chic ones. They were the ones with the little gold fleckies at the base of the nail. And I only bought these because, as you can see, I got them at the reduced price of $2.24. I would not pay more than that for these, although they are really amazing. If they came with maybe two full sets, I would consider it, but... They only come with 18 stickers. I need 20. Hello? I want to at least do it twice if I'm going to pay 10 bucks. I will say, though, these stay on for a really long time. They're really easy to use. And if you're in a pinch, I mean, maybe that would work. I don't know. It just seems like so much to pay for nail stickers, essentially. Um, a couple foundations. I have an empty Revlon Color Stay in Buff. And I think I'm going to try to squeeze out a little bit more of this because I've really been liking to combine it with my L'Oreal True Match. It just gives it a little more staying power throughout the day. And, um, I mean, obviously this is just a great foundation. I will buy it over and over and over again. Um, next, I have the Laura Mercier Oil-Free Supreme Foundation. Not sure if I would ever repurchase this. This, um... I find to be a little bit drying. I really liked it when I first got it because I was experiencing some majorly oily skin that summer and um, it was last summer and I don't know it's just a very thick thick foundation and it's a little yellow for me and I couldn't really find anything that was not quite so yellow. I had the color sunny beige. Anyway it's a good foundation I just feel like it's not the greatest for me. Um, I have a, another nail product, the Revlon Top Speed in Grape. It is my favorite color of nail polish. And I'm going to go and repurchase one of these. Stat. I love this. I know dark purple seems a little bit much for summer, but I just love this color. It's so pretty. Anyway, it's such a wonderful color. And it's one of my favorite nail polish formulas. Anyway, I have a Maybelline The Falsies Flared. And I love these, love these, love these, love this mascara. Anyway, it's just a great mascara. Um, I only bought the volume, the blah, 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 the rocket because I just get sick of buying something with the same packaging over and over again. I, I'm just weird like that. But both of them I really like, so I think I'm just gonna switch it up every now and then. And then do a mascara that I really didn't like. It is a, I got this in a birch box. And um, it, it's with a full size, so yay Birchbox and that one. It's the Model Company Fiber Lash Extend Extreme Black Lengthening Mascara. Not quite so much, my friends, but it has a little mirror. And that just sold me on the packaging. It's a very dry mascara, which I don't like. Um, I did like to use it on the bottom lashes every now and then, but I don't like to pull out different tubes of mascara just to apply mascara to my bottom lashes. I will keep the tube though because I think I just want to keep the little mirror thing as I drop it. I don't know, pretty cool. All right, and I think this is the last thing. Is it? Yep. It is a very dried up and mostly empty pot of Tarte Emphasize Amazonian Clay Waterproof Liner in black. Love these. Absolutely love and adore these. I would like to get some of the other colors. I've been using more like black, not black, but brown and different colored eyeliners for summer and I definitely want to try. Um, these are $22 I believe, but they come with the eyeliner brush, which is a great deal. It's a double-ended brush. You really can't beat that. So this is probably one that I will definitely repurchase, even though it is a little pricier, but it lasts a very long time. I had this for almost a year before it finally kicked the bucket. Just keep it, you know, nice and tightly, you know, closed, and it will last you a very long time. So those are all my empties. Wow, almost 15 minutes of em empties, it seems. Wow, we're going to have to do a little editing on that. Anyway, 
So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you like what you see. And I will see y'all next time. Thanks, guys. Bye.